Hello, this is a follow-up to my previous video when I talked about TCXO frequency oscillators, 10 MHz reference oscillators. I bought a couple of these guys on eBay uh, and one of them died while I was playing with them. Uh, it was replaced by the seller, a great seller, uh, highly recommended. And I will put a link to my previous video and to the seller's eBay store below. And today I would like to see if I can open this guy up and uh, have a look at how it is built inside. Let's go. Let's see if I can remove this cover with a knife. Mm hmm. Right. Looks like there are four drops of glue or something on each corner these white spots so I should be able to remove this cover easily I'm not sure if it will give me much but that's a start Here we go. Okay. Ta da! Let's have a closer look. to clean out one drop of the silicone uh, I think I would try to desolder these pads first I got myself this nice paste desoldering station and let's see how it works well it's designed for the soldering round pins but let me give it a try here Most of the solder is gone. Let's see how can I get further. Alright, so this side is desoldered. About this side. Yeah, nice. There you go cover off so 
So it was easy. So let's have a closer look at this. What do we see? Well, the small quartz resonator. Uh, this is uh, either resistor or I mean potentiometer or a trim cap that covered with silicon or something something soft and uh, there's that chip so this is a ground pin connected to pin 4 this is the power pin connected to pin 8 this is the output connected to pin 5 and look at this interesting arrangement there is that uh, trace ends here and this trace uh, here and looks like something between them like resistive stuff or something I decided to probe around a little bit so hooked it up and I connected the scope probe to one of the pins of the oscillator uh, I mean the quartz crystal uh, let's see on the scope so here it is on the scope and it does generate 20 megahertz sinusoidal 5 volt peak to peak and why there is nothing on the output okay i decided to cut the silicon under the crystal uh, and uh, lifted it up a little so we can see that the op-amp is wf uh, what is that one o one nine two okay I cleaned out a bit this drop of silicon which was holding the crystal which exposed this three pin package transistor must be marked B4 and look at these uh, strange uh, strips of some kind of material on the board uh, so this one we've seen before and now we can clearly see these two one similar to that one and that one that's kind of square shaped okay and this is a zero ohm resistor clearly some kind of jumper could be in this position perhaps or that position I'm not sure why and there are two more I think on this side of the board two or even three and I would make have a closer look right there are three zero ohm resistors here and some unpopulated places so maybe they can be populated in different positions for some kind of options I don't know maybe maybe this thing can be uh, in different versions with different frequencies not sure about that and have a look at this on the other side of this crystal is marking 20 megahertz so it is generating just fine we've seen this on the scope it's generating a sine wave 20 megahertz and then using this op amp or whatever it is it must be divided by two somehow and something is wrong there so it's not producing any output at all why i have no idea i tried to uh, search online for this 10192 and nothing comes up 
So there you have it. I don't think we can get more information out of this. So I really hope this was interesting. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Goodbye.